You won't believe this, but after hearing this, you will feel awakened, empowered, phenomenal. According to ancient Maya teaching, we are in the underworld of hell, but, and this is where you will feel happy after watching this. The Maya left us their knowledge with which they turned this living hell into a heavenly world. All records indicate the Maya vanished. Could this be why? But most importantly, could it point you to the same path that leads to heaven? This Immoral Cult Secrets Reveal. The World Tree of the Maya is divided into four quadrants through which the Celestial Serpent passes. Through the west, the serpent follows the sunset, descending into the black expanse of the darkness and birthplace of stars. The serpent undergoes a transformation, a shedding off of the old dead skin of the self, rebirthing an illustrious new skin. When the serpent rises on the east, it rises its new self at the dawn of the daily new sun, called the face of the serpent, radiant and red as the first rays of the sunrise, the resurrection, and symbolic of springtime. Conversely, the Black West is autumn and the past, while the Red East, the future. The East-West axis represents the horizontal plane of human life, all take from birth to death, and is called the Road of Life. To the north lies the white of the Feminine Divine Mother, Tolotl, the Source. She provides the earthly roots to humans which, according to not only Mayan teaching, but again, Egyptian, Hindu, and Druidic teachings, come first from the heavens above. First, the realm of God and the all of the realm above. Then, as above so below, the heavenly realm takes form down here through you. But from up above in the heavens, first, her heavenly realm up above, called the Petroma by the Egyptian Greek Koinobi, the Church of the Peter of Rome by the Catholics, meaning her menstrual womb church, or by the ancient Mexicans, Tolotl, the source. Tolotl's white north is polarized and harmonized by the yellow south of his underworld. Her heavenly realm is counterbalanced by his underworld of resurrection and the mysterious source of our spiritual powers to attract and manifest in this world. This vertical north-south axis is called the Stairway of Resurrection. To the ancient Mexicans, we are in his underworld. Yet, recall, this is not a bad evil omen as for the Jews and Christians. His underworld is Gaia, where we come to master the spiritual powers of our soul, the seven lords, who stay in the flower of life in us, the seven wraths of Jesus Christ that dissolve like venom the illusions of Maya. Thus, without his underworld, we could not be able to do so. The tests and challenges of his underworld are meant to illuminate the seven lords of our inner flowers of fire, because only with mastering his underworld can we rise back to her heavens her realm above, and our first and true roots. The intersection of the ancient Mexican road of life that horizontally bisects the vertical stairway of resurrection completes the crucifix of Quetzalcoatl, an intersection where, in the middle, the ancient Mexicans teach us is the mind. The mind they teach, is in the middle of it all, or 
Yolotl Quetzalcoatl, the flaming heart. For the mind becomes only inflamed and illuminated when one tames the passions of their heart. The mind is crucified in the center of the cross, where the mind is crucified where the horizontal and vertical axes of the human body intersect upon the final vertebra of the spinal column, called atlas, or atlas. Giving new credence to the old saying, each mind inhabits a world of its own, a world we each carry as atlas, the God himself, upon our shoulders. Yet again, we see how the mind is the source of all dualities and contradictions, but also the very means by which to harmonize them all. All contradictions and polarities cease to exist when one unites their mind with the one mind of the all. Sound familiar? This is the same Hindu, Egyptian, Druidic, even Jewish and Christian belief all born from the same mind and teachings of one man, Thoth, the Atlantean priest-king who did relocate to Egypt and started the Egyptian civilization, bringing up the barbarians around him, only after, escaping his home mother country of Atlantis, the present-day Mexican Caribbean coast, including all of Texas, the American Deep South, Florida, the Caribbean Islands, South America, and the Emerald Isle of Ireland, Greenland, Iceland, Scotland, and Wales, all pointing to the American continents of today being the one true home of all sacred knowledge. If you are anywhere born on this side of the world, from South America to Canada and Ireland, you are Atlantean. In us all live the genetic history and knowledge of the Atlanteans, a people made of four races, all united globally by one shared cosmogony, spirituality, and belief system based on the fishy oil, the serpent venom, and the heavenly bird. A globally human united race called the Aryans. These multiracial, multicolored, multi ethnic faces, those of each of you, are the Aryans of Atlantis. Hear this not through your ears, but through your DNA. Take back what is yours. Reclaim from them, from their perverted ignorance, what is yours. Say it loud. Say it proud. You multicolored Atlanteans, you are the Aryans. Bow to us if you are so eager to bow to the Aryans, then so be it. Bow down to us and marvel at our diversity which you ignorant Hitlers will never erase. We are the Aryans. We reclaim this name and knowledge. Bow down to us if you so ardently believe in the Aryans. Here we are, before you. Worship us in our multicolored, pure Aryan radiance. Bow down to us and kiss our brown, black, yellow, white hands. Stand against us and you sin against your own Aryan beliefs and then you really have nothing worthy of belief. For more occult secrets revealed, visit the website www.occultsecretsreveal.com and join the new monthly membership there. Get access to all the amazing knowledge that's too occult for even YouTube. Want a piece of Occult Secrets Revealed power and magic at your own fingertips? Visit the Occult Secrets Revealed shop in the link and grab your own piece of the magic and tap into your powers unlike ever before with one of your own 108 bead Amrita Malas made of rare and high quality Tibetan 
butterscotch amber. Infused with the crystal powers of attraction, healing, manifestation, and chakra activation. This Amrita Mala, in many color varieties of string, to harmonize with specific chakras and complementary crystals, will purify your entire Kundalini, preparing you perfectly for the ascension up your stairway to heaven. And until next time, trust and believe that it is okay to be you, the most beautiful you there ever was, there is, and that there ever will be. For you are not a story that can be told twice, and there will never again be a stage for you to perform, but this one, right here, right now. So be you, the most beautiful you.